I'm Greg and welcome to the GDB Watchpoint series. We're going to start by looking at breakpoints. Now, I'm sure you know what a GDB breakpoint is. If you've ever used GDB, you've certainly used one. Uh, and you probably know that you can do better than just uh, setting a breakpoint based on file name, colon, line number. You can also set the breakpoint based on the function name. Uh, but what if you have a, a multiple functions with the same name? That can happen with uh, statically defined functions in C uh, and, and with C++, of course, it can happen with uh, overloaded functions. So here is a super simple C++ program with two functions called myfunc, one that takes a string and one that takes a long. Let's uh, compile that in the, uh, in the normal way. Uh, let's do dash G so we get some debug information and let's load it up into into GDB. Here we go. Right, so I'm going to put it into TUI mode so we can see a bit more of what's going on. Um, so if I go break my funk, okay, I get two breakpoints created. I can look at these info break, tell me the breakpoints that are created. So breakpoint number two, breakpoint number one, by the way, was, was because I typed start, which puts a temporary breakpoint on main and then does a run. Um, so that temporary breakpoint was breakpoint number one. This is the second break that's now gone but this is the second breakpoint, so it gets a unique number two. But it has 2.1 and 2.2, we can see, for the two uh, functions defined here. Okay, simple enough. So if I run my program, I'm going to hit uh, the breakpoint first time, and I can continue and hit it the second time. All good. Um, let's try and do something a little bit more fancy, though. You know, we can attach commands uh, to breakpoints, which can be very useful. So if I uh, attach commands to this breakpoint two, actually we'll attached commands to the breakpoint two at each of its locations, right? So semantically, we have one breakpoint here with, with two uh, locations. So uh, let's go command two, and uh, let's say, let's, uh, let's give a backtrace um, and continue. And then we type end just to, to end it. So now I've got this commands associated with breakpoint two. So I'm gonna rerun the program and it's gonna hit that breakpoint the two times and each time it's going to do the commands that I asked it to do. So here we go. So there we go. It's messed up my terminal a bit. Control L to repaint things in, in TUI mode. Uh, so we've done a run. It's hit breakpoint two uh, and it's hit breakpoint two again. Right. All good. Now let's say I wanted a breakpoint on just one of those functions. Well, I can do uh, let's delete all my breakpoints. I've only got one breakpoint here, but that's it still asks me whether I really want to do that. And I'm going to create a new breakpoint. This time I'm going to create just the variant of my funk that takes a long. So break my funk. And actually tab complete here gives me this open bracket, which gives a clue there's some more to go here. If I type L tab, it's going to complete to long. If I could actually I could do tab tab and it will tell me the various uh, versions. I've got just it's decided to give me two uh, uh, instances of my funk with further string. Um, I'm not quite sure why C++ does that to be honest, but we can see from here it does. But I'm just going to put one on the version that takes a long. And now I have one breakpoint three with one location. Um, and 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 if I if I run the program, we'll see we hit it the first time, continue, and that's it. Um, that's all straightforward enough. Uh, also, we can have uh, conditional breakpoints. So I'm going to make that breakpoint three conditional. So if I type condition three, uh, and then I can type a condition. So let's condition three L equals equals 41. Now, of course, that's never going to happen, right? We only call the function once with a with an argument of 42. If I run the program, um, uh, we'll, we'll see sure enough, uh, the what the breakpoint uh, is not hit. Well, I want to change my I want to change my mind. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Get the breakpoint um, conditional L being 41. But another way you can set these just a little bit of uh, convenience. Let's delete uh, that breakpoint and let's create a new one um, in its place. So break my func long and I'm going to say if L equals equals 42. So it's just another way of attaching the condition to the breakpoint at the time that you create the breakpoint. And if I run my program, we'll see. Sure enough, uh, we hit the break. All good. Let's come out of there. I'm going to show you another thing, which is very cool, um, which is uh, to uh, the, the R break command, which allows you to put a breakpoint on uh, all functions matching a regular expression. So here's going to be kind of the same thing, but we're going to do a, a version in C. Um, two functions, my func one and my func two, right? But uh, I'm um, nice and simple. So uh, GCC minus G funks two, and let's load that. Let's do a start and uh, control X A gets you into two mode, so you can see what's going on. Very useful if you don't already know about that. So we've got my funk one and my funk two. So I'm going to put a breakpoint on both of them, like this. R break 
my funk dot star. So it's anything starting my funk. Actually, let's regular expressions. Let's let's whoops. Let's uh, try that again, like that. Okay, so now we've got two breakpoints. Now notice, unlike before, where we had one breakpoint at two locations, this is two breakpoints each at a different location. So I can actually attach different commands and and, and enable and disable them uh, in, independently, which 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 can be useful. Um, so that's it. A few little uh, tips and tricks with breakpoints, uh, uh, and uh, I think. Um, you'll find uh, hopefully you'll find the regular expressions uh, useful. I mean, for example, maybe you want to set a breakpoint on every function in a library that you have, and every library function starts with some you know common uh, prefix, maybe str, for example. So you could do uh, r break str dot star to break on all of the uh, functions that start with str. Um, thank you very much. Tune back in for uh, many more tips and tricks with GDB watchpoints. Bye bye.